Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing good. As I said in another video, I'm not usually the person who watch, you know, like um, gets into conspiracy theories of any kind to do with the Bible, to do with the Word of God, but uh, this isn't one of those times. I'll just tell you what I know and, and what I think. Um, I can't pretend to know what's going to happen. But um, in Genesis, it says God gave us the, uh, you know, the sun, moon, stars for signs. So, so we know that, right? So we know that. Um, I saw, I watched a guy, another guy's video on this. There's a lot of videos out with this. Uh, made me want to do this because, you know what, like this is going throughout the whole Christian world. This isn't, um, excuse me, this isn't a solitary thing by any means, by any one group. This is no normal eclipse either. Um, this is actually, um, I'm looking at the path here. It shows it, like it shows it's going right over my, my place. It's total eclipse only an hour and a half away from me so I don't know kind of I don't know this kind of looks off to me but anyways I'm going to be in the midst of it and, and not, uh, anyhow <clears throat> so what's so special about this I think they're saying total eclipse right and not only that but one that only crosses the U.S. which so this is a pretty big deal since 1776 they're going from that year you know, like the beginning of the U.S. type thing, which is a long time, right? What are we talking, like 250 years? Um, this April 8th, which, by the way, isn't just any day. That's VE Day. That's Victory in Europe Day, guys. Um, that's crazy. Uh, the, the date is crazy, but that may just be a coincidence, but... So from 1776, the times that it did cross, um, it was like, you know, like to a century or something like that, but um, was in the uh, Civil War, the War for Independence, and the Vietnam War that they, that they crossed. Isn't that, you know, that's, that's something, that's not nothing. There's more to this, though. So, like, when I was looking at this, I wondered, like, I in, in one thing I see in, you know, like the, the signature A and another one I see an X. I think the X is total solar eclipse, but nonetheless, the other one together still forms an ache, which could be, and I would believe it's alpha you know, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord. Read Revelation, look that up. Um, this could be, this could be good, this could be bad, this could just be some type of sign. But it's going to be something, that's my guess. I don't say that very often, that type of thing. This is something that's like... <laughs> This starts to go into the realms of impossibility, and I'll tell you why. I'm not the type of, of, of uh, I guess, Bible reader that investigates all the months versus books versus signs in the stars. I just, I like, you know, I just, that's, to me, with things like this, you just end up going down a hole, and uh, you start going into places that, you know, could go 50 ways from Sunday, right? So, but there are some, some pretty cool things about this. I just think some of the obvious things I'll say. So listen to this, if you haven't heard this yet. So at first, it, some many things are incorrect at first, right? But I had to look, how many Ninevehs, 
So this is crossing the path of every Nineveh in the United States. First of all, ask what are the chances of this line here, right? What are the chances that that line would cross out of all that land mass, both the states and Canada, because it's crossing Canada too, in Nova Scotia, and where I am, so it's a bigger spot than that. So it's like three provinces. Um, so it's in Ontario, it has to be Quebec, and it has to be Nova Scotia, and Brother okay, so more. So, but in the States, so there's one Nineveh in Canada, it's going over that too. And in the States, there's seven, um, yeah, there's seven Ninevehs, and it's crossing every single one. So it's really going for, let's just call it eight for eight. Seven for seven. Um, that's insane. So what does that say? You have to you have to look at the story of Nineveh. What was the story of Nineveh? Well, Jonah was called to preach to Nineveh, which I, you know, everything points to Jonah really disliking Nineveh because, you know, they were like an enemy um, of Israel. Uh, all their actions were bad actions. They were just, they were just a, a bad place. They were bad people. And so God um, told Jonah to go. We all know the story of Jonah and the whale, right? And there are many interpretations of what really happened. Like um, Jonah got on a boat and all the, uh, everything started to go wrong in that boat. He was just trying to escape from God because he was trying to escape from God. God sent a storm there in the boat. The, the men in the boat said, you know, there's something wrong with someone on this boat. And Jonah said, it was me. And, um, you know, he, he, vote, he said he would jump off the boat. He did that. A big whale or fish swallowed him. And uh, so this is where another, like, cross prophecy happens. Sir, I'm very breathless right now. I'm going to have to take a little uh, break. I'll, I'll draw a parallel at the end of what Jesus said. Uh, the pro I'll give you to the Pharisees. This, the, I did a video about this. Many people didn't know this. Um, uh, you know, he said to the Pharisees, they ask, they're asking for a sign. He said, I'm not going to give you a sign except for the, the sign of the prophet Jonah. And... And many people didn't know what that meant. I'll tell you in a sec. So Jonah got swallowed. And so what I believe happened was he died. The story doesn't say that, but I believe he died. Because it cross-references exactly with Jesus Christ going into, going uh, down to Hades or hell and, and preaching there. You know, the keys of the just preaching there and he's won the, the keys to Hades and stuff like that um, makes me believe that Jonah died uh, but he repented I think he that, that's what I think I think he died and then it spit him out on land and he went and repented and they they uh, the city stopped and they they repented um, God gave uh, uh, told Jonah that they had 40 days to repent. So I don't know how long he was uh, preaching for before they did it, but I believe it was pretty quick. So they gave 40 days. So know that, okay? Now, I'll get back to that um, that story, uh, clearly of which that's the one I'm, I'm correlating with this eclipse. This is what's making me, and I'll put it in my title, 40 days or 40 years so when the Pharisees uh, asked for a sign, he said, I'm going to give you no sign but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Um, they killed Jesus, and uh, exactly 40 years later, uh, 70 AD, the temple was, they were, they were annihilated, right? That was, their, that was their last chance. 40 years they had to repent. So, you know, the question is, is this eclipse, could this eclipse mean 40 years? 
I don't think there's a, a chance in, in hell. Why? Because just the state of the world is so off that anything can go wrong. I just I just don't think it's... And, and the other reason I'll get back to um, the story of Jonah is because this eclipse is going through all Nineveh's. That tells me that it has to do with that story in particular, not the one I just told you about Jesus and the Pharisees, which is 40 years. This is 40 days. 40 days. So the question is, after it goes over, will it will it be accurate 40 days? That's that's you know, that's a correct way to look at it. <clears throat> like I said, like I've looked at these, you know, this constellations and all that type of stuff. I'm not the person to explain that to you because it'll just con utterly confuse you. Now oh, there's some very cool stuff though. But I just don't believe that God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I don't believe that they're expecting many believers to have to go that far to understand. Look, here's the sign. It's going through all the Nineveh's. Read the story of Jonah. Anyways, I think this is very interesting, and it's a big stir in the Christian world. God, do what you have to do. Take all the evil people out of power. Do what you need to do, whatever that is, whatever your will is.